barbershop conversation, guys. Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, man, hell of a fight. I told you guys it's gonna be fight of the year. I told you guys. I told you go watch my last video. I said it's one of them fights where the first round, the temperature in the in the gym just elevates, and the yeah, in the boxing in the arena, just oh shit, this motherfucker about to get hit. Holy shit, oncoming traffic. Holy shit. Um, um, yeah, wow, so, um, um, let me regroup real quick, so I'm just parking this casino real quick, I, my, I got three hours to my plane leave, so I'm gonna sit in my car by myself for an hour, and, um, <clears throat> I told you guys I had this fight 58 42 percent uh, as I feel free to go watch my other videos but I told you this is gonna be fight of the year I was too afraid to bet on this fight that this is the first fight this year I didn't bet on because oh I got I got a dope ass video coming for y'all because I don't know if y'all know many of you don't know you probably saw my post fight stuff but uh, I, I took uh, J Rock to go pick up his uh, his outfit that he wore tonight, and we probably was in a car probably like 90 minutes. You know, uh, when I when I landed on Friday, it was just like a perfect coincidence. You know what I mean? And uh, um, I'm gonna tell that story when I get home. I'm too tired. I I want that. I I, I want to attempt to carry that same energy that I had that when we was in the car together. But it was it was a pretty dope experience. And I think it will uh, it'll resonate with y'all. So I, I'll share that story um, later. But uh, as it relates to the fight, um, hell of a fight. I told you the fight could go this way. If I would have bet on this fight, I told you guys I would have bet um, uh, heard. But I thought this fight was too close for me. You know, a, a lot of people thought J-Rock was, wasn't that good. But I, I knew that he was a man I knew you had to break him you know and I thought that would be challenging to do uh, around about the second round I saw something I saw him pivot and Jared Hurd couldn't find him and I was like holy shit you know and around about the eighth round I'm, I'm not sure if you guys saw this on TV but I saw Jared, excuse me, I saw um, 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 J-Rock get comfortable in the pocket. I was like, wow, he's really, really comfortable in the pocket now. And I was like, he's going to have a lot of difficulty moving forward. Um, so, you know, I had it 8, 4, 9, 3, somewhere in there. I, I had it pure domination. Shout out to Jared Hurd's uh, father. Was very honest, very thorough. In his diagnostic uh, uh, analysis of, uh, of this fight, and I have utmost respect for Jared Hurd's father. I actually went to a concert with Jared Hurd's dad uh, Friday night. We went and saw Frank Beverly and Mays featuring Frank Beverly uh, Friday night, and um, <clears throat> I think that um, it was a hellacious fight. I I'm excited to watch it on TV because I only can see it from one angle. Um, pure domination just flat out pure domination and everyone in the arena was attached to this fight obviously it was a pro herd fight uh, J-Rock's family was there um, um, I thought it was done really really well shout out to uh, Brittany and the Goosen family I thought it was ran exceptionally really well but Jared Hurd had a game plan and you guys are gonna, man, you guys are just gonna amaze at the level of conversation that uh, J Rock and I had, and uh, and that's another reason why I didn't want to talk a lot more about this fight because J Rock and I shared some real, real personal stuff as it relates to this fight. We had 90 minutes in the car, you know, and um, about nine, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes coming back, and we had to wait for his. Uh, we had to wait for his, his shorts and his robe to appear. 
I mean, to, to come from FedEx. They had to go find the shit, and it took about 20 minutes. And uh, <clears throat> uh, we talked about the lot and his game plan for the fight. I, like, I literally knew his game plan. And uh, I, I gave him my input on the game plan, and I'm going to talk about that in another video. But, but, but I think that um, um, J-Rock is the man I told you he, he is and was. You know, um, if you've been around him, you know his will is, is bigger than his talent. You know, bigger than the athleticism God put in his body, his will. You know, and uh, shout out to, to J-Rock, man. I just want to reach out and touch you guys real quick. I'll talk about a lot more in this video when I get home. It's going to be Mother's Day, so my videos may come a little bit late. I got to drive by myself, so I may be able to get a video out while I'm driving to my mom's tomorrow. Um, uh, so, um, uh, so we'll see. So anyways, man, barbershop conversation, shout out to J-Rock, sensational fight, sensational game plan, and, uh, it worked. So, uh, um, where does Jared Hurd go from here? He rebuilds. I wouldn't take an immediate rematch. Um, obviously his pride and his ego will, but you always truth over ego and pride you know I think there's some technical stuff that Jared heard that he's always had and uh, I, I think that he has to get better in little pockets I don't think you're gonna be able to change in 1000 percent and he, he's taking too many clean shots um, he, he, he needs to focus on himself um, focus on his diet because 160 will be a huge jump for him in terms of the power and uh, I, I think the world of Jared Hurd's character I think he's an awesome kid and uh, I sat back and and I was very very proud of the fact that there was two guys in the ring that I absolutely respected and it was the same hue as me I absolutely loved that and there was a level of pain in me I, and I know many of you guys felt this pain too when J-Rock was was winning the fight like when he was winning the fight rather easy you know and um, um, because I didn't want any any of them to lose you know and um, I we obviously saw what was happening and uh, uh, that was just a reality anyways man I, I want to relax for a second um, I'll give you guys more videos maybe when I after I, after I go through uh, screening and all that but I, I'm exhausted I'll just be candidly honest with you guys. Hopefully I'll sleep on this plane and I'll have more videos for you guys tomorrow in the morning. So, barbershop conversations, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for fucking with me this weekend. Got some great content, man. And I don't know if you guys know, I'm probably the only person on YouTube that cover fights that don't chop up the videos first. I give you guys the full video first. And then maybe tomorrow or hours later, I chop up the video and make it topical. Topical, like... I pick a topic and I cut it up. So I always so know that about this channel, that I'm going to give you the full interview first and then I'll cut it up into small vignettes. So Barbershop Conversations, man, feel free to subscribe. But shout out to the DMV, man. Uh, LDBC got a lot, huge fan base, huge fan base. I'm willing, to, I'm, willing, I'm willing to put my money on it that the LDBC can literally um, move a, a boxing crowd more so than any YouTube channel or, or any media entity on period. You know, I, I genuinely believe that. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.